Hello, welcome to Linda's Take. Today we are going to be looking at Excel Module 1 SAM Project B Diaz Marketing. I've already downloaded my instructions and here is my Excel file. I'm going to save this. Well, first I need to enable editing here and then I'm going to save it. I'm just going to save this on my desktop. I'm going to change that one to a two. I didn't get the two on there, so let me go back in and add that two. Okay, I have my file saved, and the first thing I need to do is go to the budget worksheet. So down here on the bottom, I'm going to click on budget to open that worksheet up, and I want to cut the subtitle from cell B1 and paste it in cell A2. So I'm going to come up here to B1. I'm going to right click and then cut. I'm going to come over here to A2. I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste to just to move that subtitle down to its expected location. In H2, we have number of, it kind of leaves us up in the air. So we want to add consultants. So right after the F and up, I'm going to put a space and then type in consultants. Make sure you spell it correctly or you'll get counted wrong. So down here in C3, I need to enter February and then moving across my headings, March, April, May, and June. So that puts all of our headings there in row three correctly. In J4, so come over here to J4, we want to enter a formula that subtracts the value in I4 from the value in H4 to determine our revenue. So when we're going to be entering a formula, we have to first enter the equal sign, and we want to subtract I4 from H4. So we're going to say H4 minus I4. Now we want to calculate our gross margin from January to June for the year to date. So in cell B6, so make B6 your active cell, we're going to divide the value in B5 by the value in B4. So again, we're going to hit equals and we're going to say B5 divided by B4. Then we're going to use the fill handle in B6 to copy that formula down to H6. So I'm going to get my fill handle here and copy that down to H. Now you have this fill options box. That's not going to go away until you type something. So don't worry about that being there. So now in H9, we want to enter a formula that's going to sum the cells for us. So we're going to go to H9, and we want to use the sum function. So up here on my home tab, I'm just going to click on this auto sum over here on the right. Make sure that the range selected is B9 through G9. I'm going to hit this check mark here to enter it in. And now I am going to use my fill handle to copy that down to H12. In B17, we want to enter the figure 27,363 as the general expenses for January. And now, now we want to determine the revenue each state needs to generate to reach the target for the year. So we're going to go to J9, make that our active cell, and we're going to enter a formula. So we're going to hit an equal sign that subtracts the value in I9 from the value in H9. So we're going to take H9 minus I9, and hit the enter key here, and then we're going to copy that formula from J9 and paste it with the formulas only. We don't want to mess the formatting up. So up here we're going to copy and then we're going to highlight down to J14 and we're going to come up here to paste and we're going to paste formulas only. If you want to get rid of that running 
bar across J9. Just hit your escape key on your keyboard. B14, we want to find out how much revenue the consultants have generated on the average per month. So we need to put in a formula that divides the value in cell B13 by the value in J2. Now you'll notice here in B14 we already have a formula entered is equals J12 and those dollar signs mean that that's an absolute formula. So if we copy that formula over to any other cell it's always going to refer back to the number in J2. So to do this we want to divide B13 by J12 but we want to leave this J2 alone. Sorry keep referring to that as J12, it's J2. So I'm going to put my insertion point right in front of that first dollar sign and I want B13 and I want to hit the slash for divide and then I can hit the check mark here. So we've got our revenue per consultant for January and now I'm going to use the fill handle to copy that down to H. 14. You see the differences here is automatically change for you. Okay, we want to also calculate our operating margin. So that's the ratio of our operating profit or loss to revenue. And this is what indicates how much our office makes after paying expenses. So to do that, we are going to come down here to B19, make that our active cell. And we want to enter a formula that divides B18 by B4. So we're going to hit equals. We're going to go B18 divided by B4. And I'm going to hit this check mark up here to enter that. Then I am going to use the fill handle to copy this down over to H19. I also want to do a visualiz visualization of the data and so um, I'm going to select A8 through A12 and I'm going to hold down my control key then I'm going to select H8 to H12 and then let go. So I have these two non-adjacent ranges so now I can come up here to my insert tab and I've got my charts over here in about the middle of my ribbon and I want a 2D pie chart. So right here we have our pie charts. I'm going to select that and I want this first one, this 2D pie chart. I want to change the chart title to total year to date sales by state. So I'm going to add total year to date sales by state. Then I'm going to reposition my chart so the upper left corner is in K3. So up here, move this to K3. And I want my bottom right corner in M17. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to grab this sizing handle in the lower right corner and then move this over to M17 and resize it there. Finally, I want to add style 11 to the chart. So up here in my chart styles, I can click this more button and I want style 11. So I'm going to select off of my chart and now I want to hide the grid lines for the budget worksheet to make it a little easier to read. So to do that, I'm going to come up here to my view tab. Here's my grid lines. I'm going to uncheck that box and now it's just a little bit easier to read. So I'm going to save my spreadsheet. I'm going to close. I'm going to come back to my class in Cengage. I'm going to find that file to turn it in. I had it on my desktop here. Here is my file. I'm going to select that. Say open and now I'm going to submit and let's look at our grade. I've opened up my grade and I have 100 out of 100. Hopefully this helped you with your assignment as well. 
If you like what you see, please hit my subscribe button and have a great evening and goodbye from Linda's Take.